guys, welcome back to my channel. I post a new video every single day at 12 p.m. at Eastern Standard Time. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video. So today's video card is going to be about what what is the gossip about you? I'm going to pick five puzzles for you. Choose the one you are most drawn to. You could be drawn to multiple ones. It doesn't matter. Let's see. Okay, well that was fast. This is pile one. This is pile two. This is pile 3 You're the center, the center of a gossip here or of a drama here, like all of you guys. Okay. Except for pal five. This is pal five. So let me repeat again. This is pal one, pal two, pal three, pal four. And pal five. Like I said, choose the one you are most drawn to. You could be drawn to multiple ones. It doesn't matter. Feel free to pause the video on if you want to meditate on the cards. But yeah, let's start with the first pile. Hi, pile one. So for those who chose the first pile, this is a card. So yeah, let's see. What is the gossip about you? With the cherry, I feel like okay, you could be a cancer, or I feel like maybe you had okay, I heard a spiritual spiritual awakening, or maybe you're just trying to move forward on your own, and maybe you had to leave some people behind, some people that maybe were not um did not had your eyes good. Okay, you had to declutter your circle here. Um, What is the gossip about you? Or maybe even yet, yeah, maybe you even add to move out to a new location or to a new school or something like that. Like you just, I just had this feeling that you're moving out, whether it's spiritually, physically, or just um, yeah, energetically. However, it will resonate for each one of you. Yeah, you're you're embarking in a new phase of your life, in a new chapter of your life. And I feel like since this reading is about gossip, I feel like people are talking okay, I heard shit. I feel like um people are talking shit um because you're moving without them. You're leaving some people behind you. Like I heard arrogance, so you may seem arrogant to some. But you, like you don't give two crap. Like I'm trying to not swear, but um, you're just enjoying this. Um, you going through a new uh, a new phase of your life. You you just don't give any. You just don't care about what people may say to you. Let's see. You may not even realize here, or even if you would realize, I feel like you would not even care. We have about cat spirit. Life is a mystery. Number eight. Yeah, you're somebody that's very mm, mysterious. I, I would not. I, would, I didn't mean to say that you're somebody mysterious, but you you love the unexpected. Like you love surprises in life. Like you're very about. I feel like that's how what you are. Like how you are. Like you live in the moment. Okay. You just live, um, how can I put it? Mm. 
you just go with your feelings if it makes any sense like I like tomorrow I want to get I want to like travel so you're gonna travel and the next day after that you may even be like oh like let me buy a house or let me get a new job like you're very on the go like um you you hmm. how can i put it i don't know how to put it like you read you're like basically you're ready for anything like if somebody were to tell you like oh like let's travel the world tomorrow like you're gonna be like yes let's do it like you're very like on the go like you're down for anything at any moment like you're ready for anything that comes to you that comes to your way or if you have a random thought you take actions on it right away like you don't second guess and maybe that that's why people are like okay like this person is not um stable they don't have stability in their lives like um i heard cry baby maybe they tell that you're like immature because you you don't have something fixed like a solid um a fixed job or you always change jobs or you always moved moved to new places or there's something there is something that is not fixed and they were like okay like what is this person deal like they always do something different here okay i heard jealous yeah they're just jealous we have base pursuits results okay they see that you're we have two times the number seven here okay i heard patience here i visual i visualize the seven of pentacles which is patience um waiting for your seeds to grow but yeah there's something coming good towards you and i feel like people are sensing it because you're taking and you're, you're you never lose an opportunity whatever this opportunity may be okay and they're jealous of that because they're, they see that you're gonna be seeing results like sweet results await here they see that you they see you like being very successful here or just very lucky here and they're jealous of that i feel like that's why they're talking very badly on your back because they're like they're jealous because they would like to be that way and they're wondering how you do that but at the same time i feel like they're followers like you know chiefs i feel like you're a leader you have more of a leader type of energy you don't follow nobody okay but them on the on this side, wherever is talking on your back here, this is somebody that's like a goat, or this is somebody that will um, do anything their boss say so that they can have a raise. But I feel like he would not do that. But this at the same time, they're the type of person that will, you know, I don't have the expansion in English, but basically like, um, they would kiss some ass like sorry to sound so vulgar but i don't have another way to put it sorry but um yeah basically um they would bow down to people so that they can have a better life and they jealous that you're so free uh, such a free spirited and you still have everything that they want like everything that you want is what that they want but they complaining about what you have but they're following what society wants out of them they feel trapped even though they can get themselves out there like out of that trap and that you're what they want to be like but they're that's what they they are judging you here you embarking on a new journey what is the gossip about Balmain. what is the gossip about Balmain. Yeah, use it spirit dream the world into being number thirty eight down to eleven. Yeah, you're you're a big dreamer, but not only that, you're a dreamer, but you take actions on your dreams. There's nothing that's blocking you from you and your dreams. You take actions on your dreams, and it doesn't take you second to guess. Like if tomorrow you were to leave your job, 
so that you can pursue a new career or um, to travel, you're gonna do it. You don't care. Like you very like I wanna like you're the type of person that um I wanna do this at this moment. Um I feel like you're not somebody you're somebody that does not um plan. You go as the days go by, okay? You go with your feelings like oh tomorrow like I feel like traveling to three hours to go to this place. Uh, the next day, I feel like working on a I uh, ice cream stand. Like you're very um a go getter. I heard. Let's see, dear spirit, bring a gentle touch here. Number eighteen down to nine. There's somebody very kind, very gentle, and they ate. I feel like they ate that about you because they want to have something to eat about you. Like they want you to be like such a bad person so that they can have a good reason to hate you and it's i feel like it's pissing them off because they don't have any good reason or a valid point to actually hate you and it's making them even more mad here and yeah we have at the bottom of the deck we have spirit as your back here yeah whoever treats you bad they're they get their karma spirit as a plan for you hmm, they just saw the formation yeah, you're somebody very trustworthy, very generous, very grateful for what you have. Um, maybe, maybe, but maybe you appear like you're somebody that that is ungrateful or that don't. Uh, maybe people, sorry, people see you as somebody that is ungrateful or that don't realize the opportunity that they have, the good lifestyle that they have. Um, yeah, they're envious of that. Yeah, turn knowledge into wisdom. You have a lot, or you have a, you have had a lot of experiences, and you keep on getting experiences as the day go by, the days go by, and you're somebody, you're somebody that has a lot of, like I said, that has a lot of experiences. Even though, okay, I feel like you're somebody that has a young age. Okay, that has, okay. It could be somebody that has a lot of experience experiences for the age that you have but i feel like age that well personally to me age is just a number but that's how people perceive you so for your age they think that you have a lot of experiences yeah magic works for you like you're a big manifester there's something very magical about you like not only you dream your dream but you take actions on your dream and that's why they manifest Yeah, you are never alone. You are loved here. You have a lot of, you may have a lot of haters, but you also have a lot of admirers. You have people that care about you, that love you for who you are. Here. Yeah, you're somebody that knows your worth here. You're somebody very confident. And that's why you may be attracted to a lot of people, but at the same time, you, hate, you may have a lot of haters as well. But I see that this is not stop stopping you from moving forward. Like you don't care. Like you, keep, you're like okay. Like I feel like I heard the eaters keeps you pushing forward. Like yeah, like you're like the the more the mirror. <laughs> I feel. But yeah, that's it. That's what I have for you, Bal One. I hope this was insightful for you, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Hi, Bob, too. So, let's see what is the gossip about you. We have a bad spirit every break is your shirt number five. We have a frog spirit player at the quarter number twenty eight down to ten.
We have four good finds here. Time for a beginning line number 48 down to 12. What is the gossip about how to? What is the gossip about them? We have bad gesture. Um, give your lesson bowl number four. We have fox spirit. Think on your feet number twenty seven down to nine. Okay, so I see that you're somebody very mysterious. I see that you're a night time person, or you. Hmm, if that's not the case, if you don't do like things um in the night time, you're more active. Uh, during the night time you're just somebody that's very mysterious here and I feel like hmm I feel like the gossip about you is like people trying to discern you to because there's something very mysterious about you and they're trying to figure out what that thing may be maybe be, um, people are trying to read you but they have a hard time reading you because you're so to yourself or you're just yeah very mysterious here okay i heard queen freak so uh you could be a queen freak here hmm. interesting let's see okay i heard immature so maybe people think that you're immature here that you're, I heard that you're not wise enough. Yeah, it's a quarter. Maybe you're a peacemaker here. Okay, I have two scenarios. Okay, choose the one that fits to you particularly. But either you're somebody that like gets somehow gets always involved in drama, or I feel like for most of you, it's the second scenario, which is that she could be somebody that um drama drama free like you you don't like drama you're never into any drama or if people were to like try to make you to make drama with you or to involve you in some drama you'll you'll not even like um you're just gonna stay put like you're very drama free i feel like this you're more uh, most of you that are watching this how are drama free here and there's Hmm, there's just something bothering them like this those people are trying to like read you and have a hard time so maybe they're making up stories in their mind which for most of the case may not be even true be fearless and bold you see you okay there's something with the eyes here hmm. you have an intimidating uh, look that's what I get. Maybe this, those people, that's how they perceive you. Hmm. Like they're scared to approach you for whatever the case may be. They think that you're very um, on guard, very careful with your word, um, your actions here. But you, you're very wise with the action that you take. And with the patience card here, which represents the temperance card in the right away to tarot, um, you may be a Sagittarius, but to me, I see this card as Aquarius. So you could be a Sagittarius or an Aquarius, or you could have both of those signs in your chart. Okay, I feel like you seem like somebody that's overly confident. People think that you're overly confident and you're very like on guard, like, not trustworthy but i feel like deep inside you're somebody that is like and they see you as somebody immature here or that's hard to open here but i feel like inside you're somebody that's very patient here but i heard you don't buy anybody's bullshit here like you're you're very calm in general um but if somebody were to mess with you, like you're, 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 um, you're not going to stay put. 
Well, I feel like maybe, yeah, maybe people see see you as a people pleaser, I heard, or somebody that will just like not do anything here, like you can't defend yourself or, hmm. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I have another scenario where you may seem like you're fearless and bull that you're all that, that you're badass, like you're trying to um put up a front that you're badass, but inside you're like a poom poom, like if you know what I mean, like you're like, you're, you're not all that you seem to be, to appear, depend, um, for the gut, that's what the gossip is about you, like I kind of had a brain freeze. But yeah, I, I did multiple scenarios, so take it, take them as it resonates for you. Let's see. Hmm. We have Coralas Spirit, Spirit as a plan, number 35, down to an E. Hmm. I'm gonna clarify this one. Well, maybe people are planning something in, the, in your back. Hmm. Okay, I heard they're trying to involve you. They're trying to evolve you into something drama. I heard. Maybe they're gonna make. A, they're gonna try to like, ooh, to try to see your what your boundaries are like, to show your true colors. Okay, well, what is the color spirit here? What is the color spirit? Here? What is the color spirit? Here? We have the Two of Wands and the Six of Cups. It could be a Gemini or doing the one. Yeah, again, they see you as somebody very playful, like they have that playful energy. Somebody that's very indecisive or somebody that love to play around, like that doesn't want to make it, um, a decision or... How can I put it? To you could have two choices in front of you, but you're not gonna take any choice. You're just gonna have fun having those those two choices and play around with them. Like let's say you had two admirers and they would have come to you to tell them how they feel. You're not gonna choose either one of them, but you're not gonna refuse either one of them. Like you see you as somebody very playful or just that doesn't care. It just loves to play around, not with people necessarily. That was just an example, but it could be the case for you, however it resonates for you. Hmm, yeah, the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a past. It's somebody that's stuck from someone from the past. Or maybe I heard nostalgic, yeah. That's what I was going to say, and I heard it in my mind. Um, This is somebody that sees you as somebody that is nostalgic, like you keep thinking of the past, like you're regretful of the past, or, yeah, like, okay, I heard they see you as somebody that is stuck emotionally, and that is stuck in general, like, this, ooh, they see you as somebody that has been hurt in the past. So yeah, maybe they say like, oh, if this person is acting like they're all that, but inside like they're very like, I, I don't have another word. <laughs> um, I don't want to use the same word, but they're like, oh, like the old week or this is somebody that has been hurt, but this they're acting like they haven't been hurt or that they're all that. Like you see you as somebody like that, that you're pulling on a show, that you're very confident, that you... Don't take anybody's bullshit, but inside you're very weak. Like you're not all that. Like you're not acting. You're not your true self is not the way like you're acting in front of them. That's what they that's what the gossip is. Like I feel like like I said in mingling, like they see you as somebody very mysterious, somebody that's very hard to read. So they're trying to make up make up scenarios, like anything to fit the blanks. And as long as it makes sense to them, they're like they going with it. And I feel like they they may even try to um they're planning something. I don't know. Maybe they're gonna make 
try to create drama with you to see how you're gonna react i heard pranks so maybe they're gonna prank you to see how you react but i feel like whatever they're planning is uh, it's gonna be something to see your reaction something um that's gonna show that you that's gonna make them see your true colors okay because they really you're so mysterious they want to see your true colors like there's something that is not right about you or they just like can't get quite figure you out and they want to try to yeah do something to figure out like your true colors like who you really are like anyways i was kind of rambling but yeah that's it that's what i feel about too i hope this was insightful for you and i will see you guys next time bye guys i about to so let's see what is it that's it about you so for those i about three so for those who choose about three this is the card let's see you could be an aquarius but it doesn't have to be or you could have that in your chart or you could even be dealing with an aquarius but it doesn't matter okay i heard in my mind or 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 air sign okay let's see what is the gossip about you What is the gossip about you? Also feel free to skip because I only take jumpers but yeah, let's see. What is the gossip about poetry? Let's see. You have a badger spirit. Be fearless and bold. Okay, those, this card came out in every single reading so far. Let's see. We have a bad spirit. A rebirth is your shirt number five. We have brown bear spirit take time out number nine. We have cat spirit claim your independence number thirteen down say four. We have nineteen gale spirit love is all around number forty one down to a five. So we have two number four and two number five. Okay. So out of the bat, when I saw the numbers and now and there we have seventeen. So I see that this um. I got that they see you as somebody immature, like, or they making fun of your age. I feel like for for your for those who are, who are watching this poll, you're like younger. Okay, I heard coworkers, but in any areas in your life, it doesn't matter. But I feel like let's say the example with work. So at your work, I feel like your coworkers are making fun of you because you're younger than them, or you're just young. Uh, something with your age or maybe they're acting they're talking about you being immature compared to your age there's something with your age like or with immaturity or something like that mm. like you don't i heard not mature enough or like you don't have like experience enough experiences like they're like what are you doing like i have this image in my head like of co-workers like talking in this circle and like looking at you and like laughing making fun of you like i don't know why i have this in that this specific Im scenario in my head like i see three people i see one guy in particular a white guy like that's looking at me up and down like that's basically looking at me that means that it's you if it makes any sense Basically, I see somebody looking up and down someone, like, with an arrogant face. And, a, like, a smirking, like, thinking, like, this. they're, like, all that. Like, everyone around them is lower than them. I don't know. I see somebody, a white guy with a, um, a blue shirt. 
with gray pants, like um, brown, light brown, very, very light brown, like beige pants with short hair, like almost shaved, but not really. This is very specific. Anyways, I don't know, like I keep wanting to talk about that scenario in my head. Like I keep seeing it. But anyways, yeah, this machine is, I still have this scenario in my head. Like normally like um, the thought come and goes, but now it's still sticking in my head. Like this person is still looking up and down at me. Like, I don't know. This could be the case for you at work or somewhere like, or maybe you're not even realizing, or maybe you're just trying to ignore that, but I can't even ignore that person. And this person is not even right. Uh, it's not even there physically. But they see you as somebody that's very dependent, somebody that's not confident here. Oh, they want you to move out. Like, hmm. Oh, they were like, okay. There, it may be one person or multiple people, but whoever they, this person, they or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna say they. They want, they, they are like, um, open that you're gonna be replaced soon. Or they're like, oh, like, this person won't, won't last long. Like, I can't wait to see who is the newbie next. Or when this new person is gonna leave. I heard she, she can take it. She can dish it. Like, you can, it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a woman. But I heard a she. So, yeah, maybe you're a woman watching this. But if you're a man watching this, then they're very, like, trying to bring you down. Like, to bring your ego down to bring your self-esteem down like i don't like this energy i really don't like this energy oh okay yeah with the tank time out there like they're trying to put you to your limits to see how far you will go um you may be you're not even you may not even be a newbie but they see you like that like they treat you like that but um yeah they're like Oh, like I can with the take time out. They're like, oh, do you want to take a break or like? Yeah, I said you know, like they're, this is bullying. Like look key, this is bullying. But they're like, oh, do you? I heard this could be a man, a manager doing that to you, or somebody that has a sort of authority. And yeah, we're talking with the star. The star represents Aquarius. And as somebody that has that in their chart, yeah, I'm very about my freedom. I'm, I hate any sort of authority or anybody that thinks that they're superior to everyone. But, um, and you could be like that as well. You may not even be in Aquarius, but you could think that way as well. But yeah, take time out. They're like, oh, do you want to take a break? Like, you should go on vacation. Like, this is, this job is not for you or... Oh, you won't last long. Like, I can't wait to see how long this person is going to last. Oh, like, do you, okay, I heard you want to bet. Like, they're literally betting on, as, like, on um how long you're going to last. Or, like, who's going to make you crack the faster. Like, who's going to make you give up the fastest. Like, oh, I don't like this energy. Yeah, they feel like you're very dependent or that you're this type of person that depends on people on other people yeah i just i really see that that newbie image because when you're new to a place like you don't know everything around so you ask right like that's normal and they see you as like oh like you can do anything on your own like things like that they see you as somebody that's that depends on people and they make they could even make fun of you for that which doesn't make any sense because I feel like if they were like when they were in UB, they probably did the same exact thing. But anyway, stuff is all around here. Yeah, don't focus on those people. Literally, love is all around. Like there are other. I feel like there are some coworkers. I'm still with the same example, but I take it as it's applied in your life. But I feel like there's still coworkers like that are very nice to you. So don't focus on those meh energies like focus on the people that really care about you that really want your eyes good like yeah literally Rainbow speed overcome any obstacles um number 50 down to five another five
vibe but yeah you will overcome this like this is nothing like you will overcome this and karma is real karma is real like the start is a very calm energy so i feel like i see just i just see them like talking trash like talking shit about you and you're like not paying them any mind like not giving them any attention because you don't care because like whatever they say is not true and i i know that you i get that you know that and you don't care you're not paying them attention because that's what they seek and you're not you're not giving them that let's see you have to respect see the big picture yeah you're yeah they're it's like they're saying that you're immature or that you're too young for your age or what did i say you're too young or you like experience for your age yeah but you don't care like you're like okay like what do you want me to do about it like you don't care like there's that nonchalant energy like okay but this is interesting because they're saying that you're immature, but by doing that, they're the one who are immature and you're seeing that. So you're not paying any mind, like not paying any attention to it, to them or to one person, whoever, however many there are. But hmm. what spirit surrender now? Number 29 down to a 12. Surrender now. Maybe at the beginning you had an anger towards them, but you 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 saw how like it was not even worth it worth it to do that. So you like let go, or maybe right now you're angry at them, or you just want to clap back or something like that. But surrender now, like see see the big picture. Like this is not worth it. Like karma is gonna get them one way or another. Like. Embrace the in between, like yeah, I feel like silence um is the best, and so you can give them now, and one way or another, karma is gonna get them. Yeah, literally, wolf spirit turn knowledge into wisdom. Number sixty seven down to thirteen, like learn from this experience. I feel like this those people are sent in your way for a reason. Maybe it's for you to learn to be patient or to not get angry too fast. Maybe you're somebody that has anger management issues or you're just somebody that get triggered very easily. And maybe that's why, if you're somebody like that specifically, then yeah, I feel like this is could this could be why those people were sent in your life. Like this is trying to teach you, the universe is sending those people to teach you patience or like to not get triggered too easily. That is not worth it to pay them any mind. And it's going to be so much more gratifying or fruitful when they're going to get their karma. And you didn't even do anything about it, you know. They won't even have to see anything about you. Like, they won't even have to see. But this or, but they said that to me or they did that to me. Like, it's going to be even more uh, worth it, like, fruitful at the end of the day. Yeah, literally, like... Will Spirit trust the great mystery number 65 down to 11. If there's something coming that you're not seeing, maybe this is trying to teach you a lesson. I feel like strongly, like for most of you, this is trying to teach you like patience or calmness or something like that. But yeah, that's it. That's what I have for you, Pal 3. I hope this was insightful for you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Hi, Pal 4. So, let's see what is the gossip about you. So, for those who choose the, four, the Pal 4, this is a card. But let's see. Literally, with like the other pick a card, with the other Pals, like, I, was, I see how much people are bored okay they have nothing else to do so let's see what is the gossip about power what is the gossip about power
you know, it's kind of too much, too thick on the one We have Lizard Spirit Dream the World into being number 38 down to a 11. We have Brown Bear Spirit Take Time Out number 9. We have Bad Spirit Rebirth is Wisher number 5. We have Flamingo Spirit Embracing in between number 26 down to 8. We have Mud Spirit Surrender now number 39 down to 12. We have Jura Spirit See the Big Picture number 29. Down to 11, we have mouse pretend to the small thing from the 40 down to a 4. Okay, straight off the bat, there was like uh, five cards that were that came out in the third pile, so you may want to watch the third pile as well. But let's see, dream the world into being. We still have somebody dreamy like you could somebody that's face out a lot like you i see somebody like in class that just um is a lot in their head and they're like not even listening to the teacher you could just space out a lot or do you see somebody as somebody that's like <clears throat> that has a hard time to focus or just that yeah you get lost in their mind very easily and a lot there's do you see like somebody lazy or you could be somebody that takes a lot of breaks in your shifts or takes a lot of um uh how you call that like vacation like mm. but this you as somebody very mysterious as well embracing between surrender nine Let me clarify those cards. I get that she could be somebody that is hard to read or they're trying to read you, but it doesn't make any sense the way they're reading you. Okay, let's see. What is the bad spirit here? What is it? You have the three of swords. What is the flamingo spirit here? What is the flamingo spirit here? What is the flamingo spirit here? Why 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 is the flamingo spirit here? Okay, okay we have the magician. You could be an Aries or the only one. Why is it not the one? Why is the Jira spirit here? Why is there? Okay. We have the Knight of Pentacles. You could be an Earth sign. Why is it the Capricorn? I didn't even need to shuffle any, but let's see. Do you see as somebody that has been heartbroken um in the past or just somebody that's okay, you know what somebody puts like um a stereotype? I don't know if that's the right word, but um for example, like if they were to see somebody like you, like that person looks like a pervert. Like I feel like they see you as somebody like that. Like not a pervert. This is an example, but they're like, oh, like this person has been heartbroken a lot. Like, oh, like this person has been cheated on a lot. Like this is the type of person that would be cheated on. Like that is the type of person like that has been cheated on. Like, oh, I heard, oh dear. Like they are judging hardcore but i feel like they're putting their insecurities on you so especially if you haven't been cheated on um they're it's because they have been cheated on or they're trying to like you know the thing hurt people hurt people like i feel like they're the type of person like they're trying to find um a weakness in you so that they can judge you on that I heard for the rest of your life but basically like this is the type of person like whenever they're gonna try to find an argument um they're gonna always gonna use that same argument even though that may not even be true like they're very like trying to say the same thing over and over because not only this is the same the only argument that they have but this is 
they're trying to hurt your feelings and they know that this is gonna piss you off and they're doing that for that reason on purpose oh i got this scenario like they were like oh if i were to go out with this person i would definitely want to cheat on her like what i don't like this energy <laughs> anyways let's see Maybe you're somebody that wants a new beginning here. You're trying to find a new job or a new place here. You're trying to, you know, get a new beginning, literally. It doesn't have to be uh, with work. This is just an example, but apply it however it fits to your story. And you're trying, like, to handle, like, you're like, you know, like, let, like, let's not focus on them. Like, you know, like, I feel like you're like that. You're like, I can't do this like anyways i'm gonna leave like in this amount of time like i'm not even gonna stay that long that much longer so let's not even start drama as i'm going to leave soon like i feel like you're you're um you're like that right now here like you're, especially if it's a job it doesn't have to be a job like i said but if it's like with example with a job like it's, you're like you know what like i'm gonna leave so soon like i'm trying to um get my, enough money so i can like um be fine regarding my finances so let me not like start drama with this person it's not even gonna be worth it like anyways i'm gonna leave soon so bye like <laughs> i want i'm trying to not swear but yeah like bye me bye like anyways but yeah like you're trying to f or maybe you are right now you're arguing with this person or you really want to fight with this person i heard like you're feisty i can't but you could be somebody that um you can really hurt um somebody's feelings with your words like i heard aquarius because in the previous reading um yeah i got the aquarius vibe okay but yeah it doesn't have you don't have to be an aquarius but I just get that you cut deep with your words and you're trying to not go to that extent to fight with them because you, you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings here and this is um as an Aquarius moon and rising like um I know like Aquariuses can really cut deep with their words like when they really want to and I feel like you're trying to hold yourself back from doing so but if that's not the case for you, your kid, you, I feel like maybe right now you're arguing with this person or you're thinking of arguing with this person, but it's literally telling you surrender now. Like it's not even going to, it's not even worth it because you're going to leave soon. Like there's something on the horizon. There's a new beginning on the horizon here. <clears throat> or I feel like as well for some of you, with the embrace and ambition you're entering this phase of like okay i see this scenario like, like oh like anyways i'm gonna leave like i see you like why this person is like maybe insulting you or talking trash about you you're like laughing in your head okay you're not showing how happy you are but you're laughing in your head of like okay <laughs> like what are you like anyways like i'm gonna leave like in that amount of time like so keep going up sis keep going up sis like, I see you, like, enjoying in silence <laughs> that you're gonna leave soon or, like, something like that for some of you. We have seen a big picture and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're being more chill, like, you're seeing things in another perspective. You're like, you know what, anyways, I'm gonna leave soon, so... But you're taking... I feel like, um, you're... In that same time, you're um, applying to other jobs or trying to find a new job um, here and there. And you know it's going to be a long process, but you're very patient about it. Like, you see things in a dollar perspective. Like, you're very mature about it. Even though you may be laughing in your head about it, but... But can have some fun sometimes. Doesn't matter. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, things are small, small things. I feel like this person allowed you to see, like... Oh my god, like, I'm so grateful for the people I have right now. Like, dang god, like, I don't have any, like, people that are about drama or that make drama. Like, it really makes you, like, 
be more grateful about the people that you have right now in your life and you're like girl let me not have attracted those type of people in my life like i'm so thankful to never had have attracted those people or i'm grateful for not having somebody like that in my life right now but yeah however it fits you you're just in general like you're just very grateful it makes you appreciate or more appreciative of what you have here but yeah with the fortune wheels this is destiny yeah there's a big change in your life happening um i see i see the fortune wheel as a positive change um, especially with the magician here and the embrace the ambition, there's a beginning, uh, there's, yeah, a beginning, there's a new change on the horizon, there's a new beginning on the horizon here. I feel like you're not gonna stay in that situation for that long. But yeah, that's it, that's what I have for you, Bell 4. I hope this was insightful for you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys! Alright, Bell 5, so let's see what is the gossip about you. So for those who choose the five, the Pal 5, this is a card. Um, usually I read the card as I go in the reading, but I got something right away. Like when I was, um, I don't know if you saw that at the beginning of the video, but I was shuffling for each Pal, a card for each Pals, and you're the only one that didn't have a mature arcana. And in the... Um, the tarot cards, the Eight of Water represents somebody that you left in the past or somebody that left you in the past. So, I see that this was somebody that was not emotionally fulfilling, fulfilled with you or somebody that was not, that did not make you, made you emotionally fulfilled. Here, and I can sense, um... Well, it's, it doesn't matter if it doesn't resonate for you, just let it fly. If it doesn't apply, don't apply to your story if it doesn't fit, okay? Um, but yeah, the person that is gossiping about you may be somebody from your past, okay? I get that. For some of you, if not for most of you. Because I can, um, everybody's life is different, but... It could definitely be somebody that is in your past and that is still talking about you. Um, I can't. Okay, if you if you're like wondering if this is you or not in particular, maybe you had some. If you had some signs, like let's say um, you saw this person names, you see this person name a lot, or um, you dream about this person. And you're like, why am I dreaming about this person? Or Signs like that, I don't have any example in the moment, but if you have signs like this, then yeah, this is somebody that is gossiping. Oh, okay, gossiping about you. <laughs> I'm so excited that I can't even finish my sentence. But if you're sneezing, it, it doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's all the time, but <laughs> because I watch an anime right now, um, yeah, anyway. And when somebody talk about them, they are sneezing, they sneeze, and they're like, wait, did somebody talk about me? So, yeah, at, at quite some times, like, if you were to sneeze, then this is a sign that somebody is talking about you. Well, at least, um, I see that as a sign that somebody may be talking about me. But it's, it doesn't matter, like, if you don't believe in that. It was just funny to me because... I saw that in an anime, but yeah, let's see. What is the gossip about you? What is the gossip about Papa? Also feel free to skip uh, as I only take jumpers. Okay, and let's see that. You don't need to skip anymore, but yeah. You have crow spirit, go grip with spirit number 17 down to a 8. We have electric ill spirit, bring your ideas to life number 24 down to a 6. We have other spirit, you are never alone number 46 down to a 6. A 42 down to a 6. 
We have rabbit's feet. Now is a lucky time. Number 49 down to 13 down to 4. We have a white ribbon spirit, trust in the magic, number 66 down to 12, down to 3. Then we have a pig spirit, use your mind wisely, number 47 down to 11. Okay. With the conquered spirit, as I really got that as soon as I saw the card. Um... <clears throat> Especially if it's somebody from your past, I strongly feel that this is somebody from your past. I heard attachment issues, so this could be somebody that was very codependent, um, very like attaching, like very clingy or something like that. But they want you to literally, like it says in the card, co-create with spirit. It's they want them to, they want you to work with them to move things out with them. There is salary I heard. This is so off topic, but this is what I get. And if I get something, even if it's out of context, I'm going to see it, okay? Regardless, um, bring your hideous life. Okay, basically the gossip about you is that you seek love around others people. Like you seek validation on others, other people. And you're somebody that dreams a lot, but that never take actions on them because you may be scared. I heard scary scaredy cat so maybe you're a scaredy cat but maybe it doesn't matter if you're not any of what I'm saying this is their perception okay this is this person's perception or those people but yeah yeah you ha you see you as somebody that has a lot of potential but potential but you're too scared like I keep hearing scaredy cat like you're too scared to take actions on your dreams or to show your creative, your ideas. Like, I see, like, somebody in a teamwork. This scenario in my head. I see this scenario that you could be in a teamwork, but you could have, like, the best of ideas. Like, you have so many good ideas, but you're not going to share them because you don't want to... Um, you're, you, you're not confident or, like, you just care to become arrogant or to, like, you don't want to... Uh, wait, uh, English you like you don't want to put your ideas on other people or maybe you're not confident because you think that oh like this idea is not that good when in fact it could be like what's gonna it could be the idea that's gonna bring your um your team to be the best team here and that's how they see you like mm, let's see yeah, this is somebody that you mirror or that you had a lot of points in common here. Like you shared a lot of things with this person, the common things with this person. Yeah, this, okay, maybe you're somebody that has a lot of friends or maybe you're somebody that has a lot of like, you always see with somebody or you all always around, around people and they think that you seek love, you seek validation Um from other people like you need people around you to show you that they care about you so that you see that oh like i'm worthy like i people care about me so yeah they see us somebody like that i heard a week they see us somebody that is a week or that yeah that seeks for validation on other people But they see you as somebody that is smart. But they, it could be like use your mind wisely. Is okay. I see this. I see two scenarios with this card. Either they see you as somebody that is a very smart, or they could see you as somebody that's very um not blocked off, but you're very careful with the safe you make, with who you open up to, and things like that. Or maybe, okay, and I see that maybe as well, they want you to be more, maybe you're somebody that doesn't make smart um, actions or you're not somebody that is that smart and they want you to be more wise or to be less dumb, to make less dumb actions. Like, I see three scenarios with this card. Like, however it resonates, you don't force the story if it doesn't, if it doesn't fit to your story. But, um... Yeah, you're a big dreamer, but 
you stay set in your dreams like you're somebody that you see as somebody that drinks a lot or that like you're somebody that um i just used the word in the other part you're somebody that spaces out a lot like you you're a lot in your mind like you have a lot of ideas a lot of dreams passions i heard but you never take actions on them like you're a big dream in that sense because you never take actions on them and that's how we see you and with the now is a lucky time <laughs> i'm talking about it last because it's again off topic but they think that now is a lucky time for them to come back and they can offer to you or maybe they think that now is a lucky time for you to take actions on your dreams okay i heard to shake you up to shake your world up okay this is weird but if you resonate to you you're gonna understand what that means but at the bottom of the deck it says set healthy boundaries so whoever is trying to come back around or to come towards you like set healthy boundaries with them hmm, time for a deep dive they think that you have a lot of work to do on yourself or maybe this person that is coming back is gonna make you um i, I have the word in wait to make you realize like how much you need to work on yourself um hmm. yeah they want you like they're talking about you the gossip about you is that you know this they're like why is this person is not making any um leap of me like they're like they could just like take actions on their dreams like you know they're like wondering why you're like not bird budget i heard or maybe as well they could see that as somebody that needs to work a lot on themselves somebody that has been deeply hurt and they see you as somebody that make um however if it's your story or they see you as somebody that self healthy boundaries as well they think you can dream possible yeah they want you to be open to whatever is going to happen with the two of you again with this past energy like this past energy still makes an, a present like I'm not even like trying to focus on their energy on this person's energy but they still are coming onto the reading damn i don't know this energy like this person really wants attention and i don't like that whatsoever but let's see know your worth yeah this person they see you as somebody that is not confident here i heard overly confident either um depending on who's talking about you they could see you either as somebody that is overly confident or somebody that is not confident. Maybe you're acting like somebody. They could see you as somebody that's acting overly confident. And in fact, you're not. They think that you're not. Or maybe this is this is you acting like you're not confident when in fact you are very confident. Or the third scenario, they see you as just somebody that's not confident. And they want you to know their know your worth, especially if it's somebody from your past. Like they want you to see your worth from their own perspective. Okay, yeah, we have six spirit time to heal. Number fifty-five down to ten. Yeah, whatever happened with this person, it's time for you to heal. Definitely, I get this past energy like a lot here. Time to heal yeah really like literally time to heal yeah we have like lay a solid foundation tend to the small things trust in divine mentors see the big picture think on your feet sweet results await. yeah literally surrender now okay that was a lot at the same time but let's see literally lay a solid foundation especially if it's somebody from the past but whether this is a past person or not, lay a solid foundation, okay? Then do the small things. Focus on what's around you, okay? You have good people around you. You have people that want you to see your eyes good. You have people that care about you. You have people that love you. Focus on those people. And I feel like whoever is trying to make a weird appearance is going to make you realize that or make you realize, um, realize. I'm going to put it over here make you want um it's gonna make you um want to be more grateful even more grateful of what you have around you um with the trust divine detours like whatever happened was meant to happen here okay and if this person is coming back 
um, maybe there's a lesson that needs to be learned or maybe this is a test from the universe to so that you can see how much you have grown have come you have far like how far you have come whoa <laughs> how far you have come and this could be a test you see like oh like are you gonna take this bullshit again or um whatever the case may be are you gonna take this person again okay or are they gonna see like um this is a test like i feel like especially if somebody's making your reappearance like this is a test for me from the universe to see like what you're gonna do how you're gonna react we're gonna be like whoa like i've changed like i really like i don't want this person anymore yeah see the big picture you're gonna see things on a different perspective like you're gonna be seeing like maybe this is a chance for you this person you were praying is gonna be maybe a chance for you to fully heal from the situation to have it uh to close the chapter to finally move on to finally forgive yourself forgive this person forgive whatever happened to see things from a different perspective but you're going to be more careful here with whatever comes in your life but literally switch results wait here surrender now like surrender to yeah, surrender to what happened and switch results away. Literally good things are going to come after you realize that after you surrender to whatever happened. But yeah, that's it. That's what I have for you, Power 5. I hope this was insightful for you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.